a small metal ball is being pulled gradually <coughs> on a frictionless hemisphere as shown in figure radius of the ball and that of the pulley are much smaller than that of the hemisphere as the ball slides from the bottom to a position close to the top of hemisphere how do the magnitude of pulling force f and contact force r between the ball and the hemisphere will change and this r r you can write is n or say no problem let it be r only r is a reaction force actually Draw the diagram. So the, the initial position. So show take some arbitrary point somewhere here when it is here, and get all the angles clearly. No, we'll we'll see. Without drawing diagram, somebody giving answer, I think not justified. Huh? I, I'm things clear. Huh? Looking at that, nobody should tell the answer. We are, we are supposed to work out. Okay, this is about the the initial diagram. Oh, it's a particle. No? This is. Let it be some angle. Yeah, uh, there's actually particle just to show the diagrams. Now I just expanded it. Uh, you see this, <coughs> all, all this one. Please draw a diagram. Uh, don't, don't look at question and uh, this one. At least uh, see, I'm I'm drawing that trying. Th th these are needed. Huh? Uh, no, no, there's a rope, no? So let's come back to the problem here. There's a rope. 
I am going to pull with a force R. Let A be the radius of this. A be the radius and I am just telling this is the H. So let, let, let me take. Let, let me assume few all things no. So let this be H no. And this will be the length of the rope. Let, let's analyze one by one all. So this the angle. Okay, fine, all of you. So this will become some triangle here, no? Uh, will it be right angle triangle? So it need not, no? This will be 90 degrees. It appears though 90 degrees. So this, let me take this is beta and So let me take this angle alpha and, and here mg will act. This is theta, 90 minus theta, this will be theta, 90 minus theta. This should be theta. So here the reaction is telling R. Okay, I think I <coughs> magnitude of pulling force. Okay, this is F. Sorry, R is not radius. Huh? A is a radius. I think the, I have enough. I have do. What is H? H we assume. H will remain constant, no? H will not change. H is what will happen for measured from the pulley to this center of the hemisphere. Okay, now at least I give diagram. Now, now you think and analyze and give the answer. Let's see. A pulling force is F, no? It's telling magnitude of pulling force F. So here also the force should be F. The pulling force should be F, let one. So this is M. Uh, with, uh, as I start pulling, what happened to L will decrease, no? L will decrease. So what I should do with F, first we look at F, then I'll come to the reaction R. Oh, okay, now uh, you apply sign rule. Uh, shall we do one thing? F cos alpha should be equal to mg sine uh, mg cos cos theta along the tangent. So if I draw a tangent, so along, along the hemisphere, along the tangent drawn to hemisphere, F cos alpha should be equal to mg cos theta. So F by mg equal to cos theta by cos alpha. This is the one equation what we have. 
okay let's come for <coughs> the sine rule h by so i'm applying sine rule h by sine of 90 plus alpha should be equal to l by sine of 90 minus theta is equal to uh, this will be what is the other angle beta no uh, th this will be a no this will be a by sine beta anyway i think uh, th this will be enough now so h by cos alpha l by this will be cos theta so h by l is equal to we want a ratio of cos theta by cos alpha l by h will come cos theta by cos alpha should be equal to l by h substitute there f by mg should be equal to l by h f equal to mg l by h look at now m g h they are constant what is m m is the mass of this one mass of that particle h is what i assume constant all all the thing you write it so what is a a is a constant so as <laughs> as the bob as the metal ball slides up what will happen to l l decreases no so l decreases so f will decrease as l decreases f decreases are you getting no idea it's not like something by seeing so most of you are giving answer immediately by seeing so come out of that method It should be minus cos alpha, right? H by minus cos alpha. Which one? So the fourth step from top. Yeah, this one, huh? Yes, sir. Sine of sir. 90 plus alpha. Sorry, sir. Okay, got the idea now. So now similarly, what about the R? Can you can you try at least R again the same method? Huh? Uh, what should happen to R? What to do again? That R, what happened again? You have to resolve. So you, how the R will act? normal to the hemisphere no the direction of r should be normal to the hemisphere so now what happen you bring a normal perpendicular to the perpendicular to the rope you bring it then resolve r then then again similarly you have to work out the force resolving resolving the n and mg resolving r and mg perpendicular to the string then equate the forces no then you can get expression for n can you try at least that one similar so here what happened we took tangential to the hemisphere no perpendicular to the rope you resolve r and mg <coughs> so this is the rope no Perpendicular to the rope, you have to resolve R and MG, then solve it, equate them, you will get the required answer. So I'll, I'll directly write what is R, R is equal to MG A by H. We'll end up this much. Huh? If you want, you try it. Huh? I'm, I'm helping with equation. What is A? Constant. H constant, M constant. So what is R? R will be constant. So the option what happen will pick up f decreases r remains unchanged so how do you brought this equation again the similar resolve r take help of r f and mg that's all here no because we know uh, so why why are you are asking us to do like this so we know expression for f will i agree all of you now take help of r f and mg 
equate forces along the rope perpendicular to the rope then work out the problem <coughs> okay I'll, I'll i'll come to the next one more small idea is there the remaining half of the problem you have to work out i gave almost everything information you have to just manage with the mathematics